Hello and welcome to lesson number 29 here in the Rhino 6 tutorials. Today we are going to cover basic surface creation. So basic in fact that um, we're going to cover three different types of commands in about five minutes or less so hang on tight. We're going to cover the command which is known as the surface from planar curves but when you type it in it's the planar surface command. We're going to cover the cap command and we're going to cover the surface from three or four points command. Now, if you are at my school, feel free to open up lesson number 29 and you can follow along. If you are just out there in YouTube land, uh, you should be able to figure this out as well. So I'm going to double click the top menu and I'm going to go into my perspective menu. Okay. Now, we have a few different types of objects here. We've got down here, we've got some curves, just some flat curves. We have up at the top some hollow poly surfaces okay with several different types of or in this case just the surface but with several different types or um, faces okay now the first command I'm going to cover is the planar surface command or the surface from planar curves and you basically just need one two three five twenty different it doesn't matter how many curves you have in fact we can go ahead and um, create a polygon up here we can create a star with 99 sides so you can see this is just a curve all right so the planar curve surface command what you can do is you can select your object and then run the command or you can type in the command or select the command and then select your curve it doesn't matter which I generally click on the curve and then start my command but what I've done is I've selected the curve and if I type it in it's called planar surface but if I'd like to go up here to my surface menu I can go to um, planar curves click and that will just take any curve and run a planar surface command you can find it up here in the curve creation menu it's the second one over surface for planar curves very convenient right so I can click my curve and go up here, surface from planar curves, no problem. I can type in planar surf, P-L-A-N-A-R-S-R-F. Very important, don't type in planar surface, just type in planar surf. Click, and then in this case, we'll go ahead and select this thing with 99 copy, or 99, that's maybe a little odd looking, but as you can see, I created a surface from that, all right? And of course, as per usual, I can just hit the space bar tapping the space bar and then it'll say select the planar curve to build a surface there you go enter all right so we've got a few different surfaces here that I've created now you notice if we look at I'm gonna go ahead and delete that surface and go back to my top view and you'll notice we've got more or less two identical curves here okay you can select and in fact I'm gonna select all of these surfaces and I'm gonna delete them now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all four of the surfaces because you can create several different planar surfaces at once. And I can go ahead and click on my planar surface command. And you'll notice we've got ISO curves showing up here, 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 but not here. And if we look at our command line, nothing happened. So whenever that happens, go ahead and go into your different view and you'll notice these three are actually planar meaning that they are absolutely all the curves are parallel with each other in this case they were not planar okay so for example if you were to say create a rectangle like so turn on its control points lift one of them up and then turn off the control points try and run the planar surface command on this it's not gonna work for you right and it's gonna say no faces were made curves must be closed and planar right so if you have curves that are open in case such as this I'm gonna explode this and whoops I'm going to explode this like so move that out a little bit so I've got a little hole there right and if I run the planar surface command you'll notice it won't work because I've got an open curve here alright so curves must be planar they must be closed these three won't work alright so 
The next command we're going to talk about, and we'll talk about how to fix this in a later lesson, but I'm, right now I'm just showing you the command. The next command I want to talk about is the cap command, CAP. So type in CAP, and you can select the poly surfaces. In this case, all these surfaces are joined, so it's poly surface. And I can hit enter, and it will cap it just like that. We've got an open tube here. I can select it, type in cap, or in this case, just go ahead and hit the space bar. I've got surfaces on there. Now you'll notice here, we've got this guy, and these surfaces are not joined, and that's okay. I can hit the space bar again to repeat the command, select all four of those surfaces, and hit enter. And you'll notice unable to cap four objects. The openings did not have closed planar edges. So next thing you want to do is let's try and join it. It's all one curve. And now if we type in cap again, C-A-P, select the surface to cap, enter. Now you notice what it gave me was it gave me one cap down there. And you also notice that it joins all the surfaces into a poly surface. It, whenever you cap something, it will join it automatically. Now, I couldn't get it to put a surface up here. So what we can do is we can go to just the top one right here on under the surface creation. In fact, if we close that, you'll notice that this command is right here, surface in three or four points. It's also under the surface menu. But we'll click on this one. And it'll say first corner of surface. I can click one, two, three, and then down here, number four, and I get myself a surface for four points, right? Now you notice here it's not joined. I'd have to select it and click on the puzzle piece to join it. Now, you'll notice right here I've got something with three points. All of these are not connected. So, same thing. Go ahead and join them. By selecting it, going over and clicking the puzzle piece, click on the object again, type in CAP to cap it. Okay, still we've got, oh, look at that. It will cap here, and the reason for that is because any three points are always going to be planar. Okay, so that's very important to know. But I'm going to go ahead and explode this for just a second, and I'm going to delete that face. You can see there. It is has been deleted and now this time I'm going to say surface in three or four points I'm going to click on it and it's going to say first corner of surface one then two it's going to say third corner and in this case after you've selected the third corner if you click again for a fourth corner you're going to end up with another surface which is probably not what you wanted it's kind of cool but it's not what you wanted right so I'm going to go ahead and run that command again one two go up here click the third point and now I'm just gonna hit enter and you can see here I actually have that third face okay those are the three commands I talked about right we have just covered the planar surface or the surface from planar curves the cap command and the surface from three or four points thank you very much I'll see you in the next lesson